And if you got a problem with that, you can suck my nuts. Cause it's 2024, <laughs> baby, you know we ride with Trump. And if you vote Hold for up. Biden. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna listen again. From the future. Subscribe to me if you want to live. Welcome back to another For the Freethinker Reaction Series. I'm your host, Jeff D. We go through, by popular request, some of the independent artists out there, see if they got some good messaging. And uh, I like to relate it to culture, politics, all that, and music is the best possible way to do so. Also, with these independent guys, usually they let me use their music in my gaming streams. So be sure to check out my gaming streams if you like my takes on the culture. Check out my news stream, ThoughtCast, here and over on Rumble. Leave a like, subscribe, all the cool things. But let's check out this new artist, see what they got. So this dropped one day ago, and I've already gotten requests to do it. This is Playboy the Beast, 1776. I'm all about that 1776 mentality. So let's get into it, see what you got. Now, when I looked at the catalog, I saw that this artist has a beef or diss tracks uh, against Tom McDonald and against Adam Calhoun. I like both of those guys, uh, but just so that we're hundred percent clear, I don't really give a shit with the whole rap beef things. I'm here for the culture and to try and give some positive messaging to everyone. So I call balls and strikes on all sides. Uh, I don't have blind, perfect, 100% loyalty to any one artist, politician, any of that shit. So I mean, you can complain in the comments if you want, but I'm, I'm making videos about who I want to make videos about. We the people tired of the bullshit, about to pull a 1776 in this bitch, yeah. So we the people tired of the bullshit, about to pull a 1776 in this bitch, yeah. All right, I like the mask. Dude has Proud Boy literally tattooed on his forehead. Uh, so he's he's with all that. Be careful. Enrique Tario got like 19 years for not even being there on, <laughs> on January 6th. That That's just a good two middle fingers up at the system, if you ask me. But let's go. We the people tired of the bullshit About to pull a 1776 in this bitch, yeah 1776, what we up against 1776, fuck the government 1776, what we up against 1776, fuck the government, yeah Just take a look around you, we the people waking up Because we tired of the bullshit, safe to say we've had enough Stop the government telling us it ain't really adding up And you don't have to be a genius to see that they're all corrupt So put your middle fingers up if you're riding with Trump And if you're really about to life i think it's time to raise up we wouldn't be in this position if they really gave a fuck but they don't the tree of liberty is in need of blood they traded i mean i agree with like 99 percent of that man i mean i will never use my platform ever to advocate for political violence for several reasons uh first off i can do a lot more damage to the system to benefit the culture if i can be in the system <laughs> and a good way to get kicked out of the system is advocating for violence. So uh, I won't do that. But I can say, yeah, he's 100% right. The tree of liberty must be watered from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Both. We're in some dangerous times right now. And the waking up part is crucial to avoid an actual civil war, an actual revolution, a guns and, a guns and ammo revolutionary war. We'll see if we can avoid it. I don't know, but people are a hundred percent tired of it. I mean, we just had freaking trans day of visibility over on Easter and no one was expecting that on their bingo card. Although apparently it was out for a while. That was a thing. It was just a matter of time before it intersected with Easter. So Biden didn't create that, but he did send the memos out saying, you know, by my power vested in the constitution. And he told the whole trans community that they're, perfectly made in the eyes of God, uh, which is kind of interesting considering they need to cut their off, but I digress. In this position, if they really gave a fuck, but they don't, the tree of liberty is in need of blood. These traitors hating on the net, they trying to say I'm not a patriot. I love my fucking country and it's played and they just hating it. Calling me a grifter, cause I rap out trying to save this shit. A true soldier for God, but I'm surrounded by these Satan. I'll be ready for whatever, really ride with Trump forever. 
Okay, so he's called a grifter for saying that he's here for freedom. And I'll be honest, I've never heard a song from him. I don't know really much about this artist at all. So you guys got to fill me in in the comments. Do you feel like he's a grifter? Do you feel like he's a patriot? Does he got the juice? How are the other songs? Should I be checking out the other stuff? Because I don't know. I'm a blank canvas here. Um, but the stuff he's saying, I mean, it's pretty legit. And he's got he's got <laughs> the tats perma marked on his on his body supporting what he's saying he believes in. So I, I don't feel like he's a liar. I don't know. You can call just about anybody a grifter. Like if you're a capitalist, then you do what you do well for money. Does that make you a grifter? So if you have an ideology that you follow dearly and you wish to spearhead that and advance that, does that make you a grifter? I think it's only if you don't believe what you're saying. So is, is playboy, here authentic is the question because that would be the only thing um that separates a grifter from a patriot i guess in a true soldier of god but i'm surrounded by these satan i'll be ready for whatever really ride with trump forever we the people come together we can overcome these devils i believe freedom's a treasure never concede to the pressure 1776 it's time to make our country better we the people tired of the bullshit About to pull a 1776 in this bitch, yeah So we the people tired of the bullshit About to pull a 1776 in this bitch, yeah 1776, what we up against 1776, fuck the government 1776, what we up against 1776, fuck the government, yeah I wrote this verse to let y'all know Joe Biden sucks And if you got a problem with that, you can suck my nuts Cause it's 2024, baby, you know we ride with Trump And if you vote Hold up. Biden. Hold up, we're gonna listen again. <laughs> you can suck my nuts if you think Biden's good. Listen, I'm I'm Trump 2024 all the way. I was Trump 2020 all the way. I was Trump 2016 all the way. All right, I knew the bullshit before it was cool. And Joe Biden has been the most, probably the single most corrupt politician in American politics in a very long time, at least for the longest period of time. I don't know. Feinstein had a pretty good run. With her husband and Nancy Pelosi with her husband and whatever there, but Joe Biden is a special kind of horrible. And for people to be on his side, still 2024, if you're on Joe Biden's side, you got white privilege, a hundred percent, you got white privilege. And what I mean by white privilege is you are insulated enough because of the status you have with influence and money that you can go without feeling the effects of the horrendous policy decisions that Joe Biden has directly made his administration. I mean, he's a puppet, the, the people who run the show behind the scenes that tell him he's going to get in trouble when he says the wrong things on the teleprompter, you know, those people. So those people's administration is directly screwing us over. And if you don't know that it's because you got white privilege. Now you might be Asian, you might be black, you might be Indian. You don't have to be white because the whole white part of the white privilege is bullshit, but you're privileged enough that political policy decisions don't really affect your life. That's really what white privilege is in a nutshell. So the white has nothing to do with it inside baseball. Now, you know, you can suck my nuts cause it's 2024, baby. You know, we we're going back. I want to hear that verse again. Hang on. 1776, fuck the government. 1776, what we up against? 1776, fuck the government, yeah. I wrote this verse to let y'all know Joe Biden sucks. And if you got a problem with that, you can suck my nuts. Cause it's 2024, baby, you know we ride with Trump. And if you vote for Biden, my best guess is you're a cuck. I got some people hating on me cause I said let's close the border. But I'm not against my people, I'm just wanting law and order. Cause we got me. Bro, yeah, my grandpa was an illegal immigrant from Mexico. Okay. He became a citizen over time. My grandma was also, she was a legal immigrant from Mexico, but it's like, you're not in favor of the cartel because you have ancestry from Mexico, you know, 
like the cartel runs the border and they're sending fentanyl over in like the most insane quantities ever. They're like sex trafficking children. Like it's all illegal, all terrible. They're burglarizing homes. They got the whole squatting situation that's going down. Like everyone who said the border should be closed was right. Period. There, there is no exception on that. So Trump's right on the border. Biden and the left are wrong on the border. It's not a humanitarian thing to enable the cartel to have control of the border. It's not at all. And yeah, you're seeing those sanctuary cities and blue states where everyone's already disarmed, getting railroaded with all this bullshit that's happening. So they're feeling it and it's y'all's fault for choosing that. Mm Mm-hmm. On me because I said let's close the border, but I'm not against my people, I'm just wanting law and orders. We got millions of people invading us from other countries, many living off the system that comes from my tax money. But they say that I'm a traitor and I'm trying to be Caucasian. I just want my country safer for the children that I'm raising. This is the situation that Joe Biden has created, but I know you Democrats ain't ready for that conversation. But I... Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. No, that's great. He's like, dude, you're saying I'm like trying to be white because. I don't want gangs and cartels running everything from the open border and I want my kids to be safe and I want our money to be worth something, dude, all the, the money printing your, you know how everyone's house is like booming and the, the market's huge and your house, you know, it's worth twice what it's worth. It's not worth twice what it's worth. It's not okay. Eggs are not worth more. Beef is not worth more. Gas is not worth more. Your house is not worth more. Your money is worth less. Okay. That's what happened. So, and now you see they're spending millions and millions and billions of dollars giving our money, our, not even our money. They're, they're like, forget your money. We're going to spend your debt. We're going to charge debt to your serial number and give it to them. And now the bread you get costs more. And now the the chicken you get costs more, right? And you can't get a house, but we're giving all the resources to other people. We are replacing your ass. That's what the Democrats are doing because they can't win. Otherwise they got to replace you, give amnesty, and then figure out a way to count you in 2024 November and you know what I'm talking about. All right, rant over. Situation that Joe Biden has created, but I know you Democrats ain't ready for that conversation. But I said what the fuck I said, and I'm standing on it. Anything I say you do, best believe I'ma own it. And I ain't never switching up or backing down no one my fight. And I would never be ashamed, cause in my heart I know I'm right. We the people tired of the bullshit About to pull a 1776 in this bitch, yeah So we the people tired of the bullshit About to pull a 1776 in this bitch, yeah 1776, what we up against? 1776, fuck the government 1776, what we up against? 1776, fuck the government, yeah Damn, that's an album cover All right, that's it. I'm going to buy it. So I'm going to buy it. I'll leave a link in the description below where to buy it. That'll be really cool in my gaming streams when I'm uh, spreading liberty in Helldivers or playing Fortnite. Or it'll be the most epic banger ever during uh, Fall Guys Royal Rumble with Keegan. So, um, I mean, I, I liked the entire messaging of the song and I thought the beat was pretty good. I thought the chorus was pretty good. So, I mean, that's a cool one to play in the background. I like it. We'll play it more. You guys want me to listen to more Playboy the Beast? Let me know what uh, specific songs are good. And maybe we'll check them out. If you enjoy this kind of content, please leave a like, comment what you think, comment what you want to see next. And I'll see you on the next video. Subscribe!